Hey y'all, it's Holly from My Daily Hades. How are y'all doing today? And to share my crafty endeavors with you. It's Monday about midday. It's a bit gloomy outside. It's been quite foggy. First of all, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who messaged me. That was very kind of you. And I really enjoyed meeting, getting to know you better. There's some quite nice messages and I appreciate them. I just, there's a few people I wanted to mention. I I was making a list and there's just so many people that I watch and enjoy their content that I realized if I put it down at the bottom, everybody would be overwhelmed because I found it quite overwhelming to realize just how many people I follow and enjoy. So CJ Stitches, Keystone Stitcher, um, Love Laugh Live Stitcher, Alara, um, World Stitcher, E Crafty in Colorado, Crafty Emily. Uh, I'm catching up on all our old ones at the moment. Goodness gracious, she's, she's a very busy lady. Oh, and, and Joss Holm, the budget stitcher. I've, I've been watching her for quite a while. Usually, like I said before, I try to start with, with once I find someone, I try to start with the first one and work the way up. Obviously, with some people trying to catch up is a lot, more, <laughs> a lot more watching than others. But uh, yeah, it's been good. All right, my first one is Falling Snow. I have got to the top of another diagonal um, and got more of the Christmas tree in there and it's looking lovely. I'm really enjoying it. My only thing is, is that I don't know what to do when I get down here. I find it awkward to stitch when I get close to the cue snap. And I'm considering whether I should just try to go all the way across that way and then go continue down. Or because I'm really enjoying the diagonal, every time I get down towards the bottom, just move the cue snap and then just go back and forth. A little bit more effort. It's a bit of a faff, they call it here, a bit of a bother to, um, to move it down, but I think I will try to stay in the diagonal and just continue across that way. Um, I'm really enjoying the diagonal. And as you can see, I don't have any threads going this time. I've, I've been working the threads in and I'm trying to be a lot tidier, but you can see I kind of lost the plot down here. <laughs> I went a little bit cross country on it because I was enjoying the cross country. This is, um, 20.61%. Next is Mountain Landscape Haid. I did sneak up to the top one day when I was had a lot of stuff going on and I knew that the area that I was going to work on that particular day was <laughs> very heavy with color changes, let's just say. Um, so I, I snuck up to the top and did quick hundred stitches there just so that I would would be able to accomplish it because I knew and it was the next day it did take me ages to get those hundred stitches because I just hit so much confetti well I knew there was lots of confetti there but it's looking lovely and I can't remember at some day last week <clears throat> towards the end of the week um I had to go pick my husband up in Scotland um which is literally it's just 20 minutes to the border from us so it's not like a, it's not like a huge travel but it took me about 45 minutes to get where he was because the uh motorway the highway was uh was doing roadworks and stuff um and i got behind this really slow person on two lane highway so it, it took me a while to get up there but i i saw I couldn't see the flowers because it was later in the evening, so I couldn't see the country, you know, the actually parts of the mountain, but the the actual sunset over the mountain looked just like the sunset in this in mount, mountain landscape. It it's fantastic. It was I I just passed the time away in the in the drive looking at all the natural beauty around me and it was fabulous absolutely fabulous certainly made the drive a lot more pleasant and really enjoyed it and then on the way back it was the sturgeon moon i think they call it 
this humongous moon hanging over the North Sea. And I can see it as we're dipping and diving down the road because it's, it's, the road can be a little bit hilly here. And as you're, as you're in twisty turny, but as we're going down, you could see the moon just glow. It was just massive. It, it was beautiful. And mountain landscapes, I'm at 19.90%. So I'll soon have all three of these over 20%, which is fantastic. Okay, birds and blooms. I am now 40.98%. There it is, there's a beauty. And this is gonna be so much fun to have up on the wall. I've got done with another column. I, I do like the column method because it's, it's, it's a delineation. It's, to me, when you cross country, you really, sometimes you can't see what you're doing. You can't see a visible improvement. <laughs> I guess there's a way to say it. This works best, my brain works best that way. I, even with the diagonal that I'm doing on the falling snow, I still do get confused and I have to go back and look at the whole pattern and figure out where I am, especially with me being cheeky and doing lots of cross country because I'll have extra thread on my needle. I'm trying to get as much done at the bottom as possible. I've been super enjoying it. I'm gonna try to add some photos because yesterday we went out exploring. My husband took me for a paddle in the White River White Adder. It's a very shallow, uh, rocky stream. It's lovely, very peaceful. The countryside is so beautiful. I'm constantly going to my husband, stop so I can take a photo. <laughs> Not that I ever do anything with the photos. It's just, they're so beautiful. I want to pay tribute to the beauty by taking a photo. Um, and unfortunately the photos aren't as, doesn't, don't have the same majesty and grandeur that you see in real life but i can only do a little facsimile of of the beauty also I was barefoot and my husband says well just take a photo get hop out so i was barefoot standing on the side of the road and a farmer came by and he just looked at me and laughed because you know they see these things all the time it's to them it's just their natural surroundings but to me i think it's absolutely beautiful it was lots of fun on, our, on my husband's days off, we'll just go and have a wander and we've explored various different places. It's a pleasure and I'm not really a city person. Um, my husband grew up in London. He used to be very much about cities and things, but over the years, he's grown to appreciate the countryside a lot more. And we take great joy in exploring and the areas, little villages and going through the countryside and seeing the changes of the weather. At the moment, the fields are all golden. They're, they're baling hay, which we saw some purple fields. It was quite amazing. Um, and we actually saw some trees starting to change color. Yeah, considering it's the middle of August, <clears throat> that was a bit surprising. Yeah, autumn's knocking on our door for sure. This area is beautiful in all area, all seasons. So it will be a pleasure to watch the season, to watch the seasons pass again. I hope that you guys all have a lovely stitchy week, and I hope life is treating you well. Take care, y'all, and have a wonderful day. Bye.